Hey everybody, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com here at NAMM 2013. We're talking to Alan Abbasi at the Fender booth. You guys have a bunch of way cool new products, like 130, so we can't possibly cover them all, but wow, we're, that's a lot. we're hitting some highlights. In your hand, you have... This is the new Fender Select Carve Top Jazz Master. Um, by now, many of you will know that the Select Series is pretty much the cream of the crop of what we do off the regular production line at the factory. And this is a prime example. Um, it's a very striking instrument. You don't see a lot of Jazz Masters with carved tops and no pick guard. That's exactly what this is. It's an alder body with a book match flame maple top. It's got a stop tailpiece, hardtail bridge, and two brand new wide range special humbuckers that we voiced specifically for the American uh, Fender Select Series. Series. They sound really nice and chunky. Um, the other thing that's very special about this guitar that I'd like to point out is the rosewood board. If you get close in on that, it looks like it's bound at first glance, but it's really not. What we've done is we've routed out a channel uh, throughout the entire maple neck, and the rosewood board is actually inlaid into the neck. So that's called channel binding. It's a brand new thing that we're doing and we're really excited about it because it does a few things. First of all, it's striking because it looks like it's bound, but it's not. It's actually the maple showing through around the inlaid neck, which looks really cool. Um, it also creates a really stable mate between the rosewood and the maple. And it also allows us to roll the edge of the fingerboard so it feels really comfortable in your hand. This neck happens to be a hand rubbed oil neck, so it's silky smooth and very fast. Um, if you can see some of the bird's eye on there, that's some of the features of the Select Series 2 highly figured woods. Uh, and again, all of them have compound radius, 9.5 inch to 14 inch radius with locking tuners, uh, and the paint is all lacquer. Um, so are these jumbo frets on there? Uh, these are medium jumbo frets, so they're in between uh, vintage and jumbo. Um, another cool feature about this guitar actually is that we have a built-in S1 switch that allows you to get uh, a fatter single coil sound out of each humbucker when you push that switch in. Can you talk a little bit more about the, the pickups because you guys have had a few different models of wide ranges and of course the wide ranges from the 70s are very different from right. now because they had different magnets and all that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the, you call these wide range? Right. What are, what's the full name of them? You said wide, wide yeah, range. These, these, are, these are called twin head wide range specials, and really they're only wide range in look because they're not similar at all to the wide range, hum, wide range humbuckers of the 70s. What we did was we actually just borrowed the cover because this is a regular size humbucker, which is a lot smaller than a regular wide range pickup. So they're really only wide range in cosmetics. Basically under the hood, we've got an Alnico 2 and an Alnico 4 magnet um, in either of the pickups, and um, they're kind of a medium output that has really nice gain that gives you a real nice clarity from string to string um, when you're playing. So um, they're very warm and it allows you to still retain the clarity of notes when you're playing with distortion. Uh, Can you hear a few different samples of like including the S1 switching and stuff? We're, Absolutely. We're, we're hearing it through a supersonic, right? Okay, so this is the bridge pickup without the S1 switch in. <laughs> the neck position. And then to highlight the S1 switch, I should probably play a little bit cleaner so you can hear it. Let's put it in the middle position. with the switch out and then here's the switch in. So it definitely got a little bit thinner and single coily sounding but it's more like a fat single coil not like a thinner kind of traditional single coil. Next up we've got a new pawn shop guitar. What's the exact name of this one? This is the pawn shop supersonic. Um, it's actually kind of a reissue of an old Squire model that we did before in the past. Um, it's a reverse Jaguar body that's obviously been downsized and modified a little bit with a reverse headstock. It's short scale, so it's a 24-inch scale. We've got two um, Alnico 5 atomic humbuckers in there um, that sound really nice. And um, on the back, if you can get this really quick, it's kind of an interesting neck heel shape and a, and a trapezoidal neck plate that look really cool with an S on there for supersonic. Um, and they come in three really striking sparkle colors, orange flake, there's a candy apple flake, which is red, and a dark gunmetal flake, which is kind of bluish. Cool, let's hear that thing. Okay. So 
So that's kind of, that's the bridge position. Let's knock it into the neck position. So it's, um, you know, it's got a lot of output, but it's still kind of organic and warm sounding. Um, these are really cool humbuckers that we've put in other guitars, but we decided to put them in here because they sound so good. And especially with the short scale length, it kind of adds a little bit of oomph to the sound. It's really cool. cool. Let's hear the middle position if you don't mind. Sure. Thank you for the clam, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you meant to do that. No, That's an artistic absolutely. statement. I always love to go. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got kind of cool. All right, okay. So next up we're going to bring Rick in to play the new Bass 6, which another is way cool looking. Correct, sorry to interrupt you. It's yeah. another Pawn Shop Series instrument called the Bass 6, and Rick is like a wonder kind child playing that, so we'll let him do it. Why don't you tell us the specs on that real fast? Okay, it's a short scale bass, so it's a 30 inch scale, and it's basically a six string bass. It's got thicker bass style strings, but you can play it like a guitar. And it's not really a reissue of the one from the 60s. We actually did an updated model, uh, an updated version rather, and it's got a five way strat switch and an eight. So where can people go to find out about these guitars and all the new ones you've got here at NAMM? Well, PremierGuitar.com, of course, and also Fender.com if you're so inclined. Sweet. Thanks for the endorsement. <laughs> I'm Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. Click right here to subscribe to all our new NAMM videos.